and one more moment that we need to touch on. Oh yeah, we arguably the one of the greatest moments in pro stock history. I would say and, that's correct. And one of the best burn downs, staging duels, whatever you want to say. Um, and just this this clip, we're getting, getting ready to show you guys a clip of the classic 1994 final round battle between Warren Johnson and Scott Jeffrey on the professor. Here we go. Back at the war zone, better known as Houston race. The war zone. War zone. Love it. I got Greg chills. Anderson. Greg Anderson out there pulling, uh, pulling Warren forward in the water. The reigning Winston champ, Warren Johnson, doing an aggressive burnout with his GM Sweet Jesus. Old cutlasses are good Scott looking. Jeffrey on who used to drive one of the Look Johnson that team cars that, a couple that of years ago. That engine is like barely off under the wheel of the Mopar Parts Dodge Daytona. I, I wouldn't have one of those days. I, I had two one. Weeks ago really? And bullhorn bonds. The actual longhorn. Like like Boss Hog. Has been ugly. 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 It was. Earlier, we only like bullhorns that come out of the side of the look. Look. Yeah. The yeah. Future, JT. Good. That's the kind of Oh, I thought that's what you meant. You and everyone at home will be the first to see the new Dodge Avenger Pro Stock that will replace the Dodge Daytonas by about mid-season. Scott Jeffrey on. They're beautiful. Oh, they sure are. You know, Chrysler's put together one fine... Those Looking car here is going to make a heck of a race yeah, car. Me and Daryl are just uh, salivating, waiting to get inside one of these race cars. Uh, the long deck on it. Oh, it's got a long deck on it, and the most important thing is it's 105 inches versus 99 inches, and uh, it's a little bit wider, but yet it's just as slippery in the wind tunnel. Actually, it's a little slipperier in a wind tunnel, so uh, come mid-season, you're going to see you two more excited guys over here. Papers. Win yeah. on Sunday, <laughs> sell on Monday. 99-inch wheelbase. Yeah. And yeah. of course, the 99-inch wheelbase he's referring to is the length of the wheelbase on the Daytona. He is Can you ask for a car that sounds better than an HRA Pro Stock car? Just look at that crowd. crowd. Look at that crowd. Yeah. They continue to count. sit there. You can't tell me that drag racing Buster isn't the best thing the to ever happen to the world. On. Look at this. You see the cars just basically are idling. No Dave McClellan you know, on the mic. Man, I mean, it does get you better. No his head Listen to the bit. crowd. You can start crowd to hear the crowd. Cheering, yeah. I got I got goosebumps. And now Buster Couch starts to move forward. What's he going to tell Who's us? Who's this guy, this, this big guy behind the car? Yes, that's the indication. I think twice about us with that crew. Look at their seat. Yeah. The lights at the top of the tree tell the story. Nobody is moving. Golly. They did it. Got Jeffrey on wants some respect. <laughs> now Buster is walking out. Bust. They can't use the excuse. Backing and he's him out. backing him up. He says, that's it. You're going to go back and go to the penalty box for a little while. Both the go home, he's saying. Back. The yeah, crowd he is, is going girl. crazy with this action. As Buster Couch has pulled Warren Johnson and Scott Jeffrey on back off the starting line, told him to shut the engines off, and is going to have a word with both drivers. Now, this is not the first time this has happened. We have seen it before, and the reasons are primarily psychological. One driver wants to stay last. I was impressed with how nicely last. he shut the well, door maybe on that. Maybe the other yeah. driver wants to stay last as well. Right. And that's what happens when it's you get into this situation. Now yeah, they same. say, let's start him back up, and we'll try it one more time. Scott knows Is he gonna do Warren right Johnson, and he knows that God. the reigning Winston champ likes to stay last. Yeah, he got the buddy right. car in the water. One thing in yeah. mind. If one oh, he did do it. Stages, that that was awesome. puts the pressure on the other driver. That driver has to stage within a period of time, or the starter will throw the switch. And if the second car isn't in the beams, the I'm red light cry. comes on and like he drag is racing, this is who knows what's gonna happen these here. These are the moments that our sport we have to celebrate these more and, and show Who's this. Go in first? The are <laughs> right? I mean this is badass. It's awesome. Listen to the crowd. Listen if to the crowd. Warren Johnson going in first. Oh, I blow his doors off, Warren. Scott Jeffrey on may have staged last, but he got to the finish line last as well as Warren. Look Johnson at Greg Anderson with <laughs> yeah. low elapsed time of eliminations, a 707 at 196 miles an hour plus. Jeffrey on had the quicker reaction time on the music, starting man. line, oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah. The starting line wars paid off for the Dodge driver. He got the jump, but Johnson had the power. He's got and a couple of their way down the racetrack. The, the universe wants him to win. And then at about a thousand feet, pulled past 
Scott Jeffrey on, and at the finish line, the margin of victory was only 13 thousandths of a second. Oh, so close. And Warren Johnson wins we got the here, right? Slick 50 oh. Nationals. This is a hell of a drag race, of right? Dramatic mm -hmm. races we that old Mopar looks like she was there sitting still. I'm right, sure it was not got? either of your intentions, but you had this crowd absolutely berserk. We could hear him glare down here. Nah, the kid's just a jerk out there just trying to play his game. He better learn how to drive a race car before he starts playing games like that. But it looked like both of you were playing the game. Either, anybody can stage at any time. Huh. I don't have to stage last or first. I'll stage when I'm ready. Huh. Warren Johnson <laughs> wins. I can't. Hey, and you got to give it to uh, uh, Steve Evans, well, right, for, like, giving it back to him a little bit. Oh, he, he is over here. Look at him. Oh, yeah. It wasn't over there. As they continue to have words down at the far end of the racetrack. Warren's got Man, the lead. Scott were second. The Darryl Alderman third of the Winston Point. Chase Kurt Johnson. Man, you That's literally, great, whenever That's I see great. stuff like that, I really am reminded of, of how incredible this sport is. Like that, in my opinion, would speak to anybody. I think we could show that clip to anyone and they would be oh, yeah, captivated by that, right? Yeah. Like, what, what is going to happen? Like, and that's what drives me crazy is that, like, that fanfare, that's what these guys deserve. Like, Erica Enders and Troy Coughlin and Greg Anderson, they deserve that kind of fanfare and adoration next weekend in English Town or in, in Houston, right? I mean, like, that's literally, that's what they deserve. That's the quality of the entertainment. That's the quality of our on-track product. I don't think we're proud enough of it. Like, well, that's, but that, the on -track that's an incredible product, moment. That, right, back then, that was incredible production also. Mm -hmm. And to have those, those voices on was. there. And, and those guys put on a show. They could have went right in there, but they oh, yeah. didn't. They, they put on a little bit of a show. Buster Couch was part of the show. We talked about this when the uh, the Mason McGahey Bruno Massel deal happened last year, and how they didn't run, you know pushed them off or whatever. We, we talked about, hey, shut these cars down, give them a talking to, make it dramatic, you know, let's let's make it look like everybody's tired of this or whatever. Fire them back up and let's go. I don't, they wouldn't do that. There's everything's too precise and oh you've gotten the clutch hot or the you know the fuel level or, or or you know the engine temperature whatever is is uh has has changed and we're too afraid to just you know kind of kind of remove some more of the mechanical element and put some more of the human element back in and it, the human element was makes all the difference